Hey everyone, Meowcity here, welcome back. Today we're going back into the Sunward Isles. Had this medium one picked out, so hopefully we can explore 90% of the rooms pretty easily. We're going in with the same group as we did last time, the Rudiment, the Forsaken, the Grave Robber, and the Lamia, so let's get to it. I'm not too sure on some supplies here, so I'm just going to take a little bit of everything just because I've never really been... Well, I've been to the Thunward Isles, like, once. But I've never really had to do too much, so I'm just kind of guessing at a lot of things here. I know I can upgrade the Omamori to this major one if I get the right hero, but other than that, I'm not too sure. So we're just going to go with that and see what happens. And since we got to explore a lot of the rooms, we're going to go up there first and then to the left. And then we'll see what's left after we go all the way down. And I think I'll be saving those journal pages for another one. Another episode. What is this? A shogi board? Esoteric Go Table. The con these Go contenders seemingly died in the process of solving a complicated puzzle. What puzzle could possibly be worth dying for? So, we got a few choices here. I'm trying to put the curios down. Neatly ordered. Lovingly admired. Such a burden of finery risks life and limb. Alright, so I want to try the holy water first. Nope. Um, the next thing I would try is the Onomori. This is where the Know Your Curio thing would be kind of handy. Doubt Anti Venom would do anything. Doubt a torch is going to do anything. Alright, let's just see what happens. Alright, well, I'll take it. I know I lost a lot of curios there, but I was kind of curious. And they get saved, so... Alright, we got those stupid stealth guys again. And the adolescent crab that I don't like. I think I'm going to take out the crab first before it does all its janky stuff. We're also going to get his stress down because we didn't de-stress in between this. With him, I want to do Perilous Flesh just to get the attack back going. Now it looks like he's going to die to his wounds. And then with the Forsaken, let's get this going. So when he oh he's not gonna attack he's gonna delicious cucumber that little prick I don't think I upgraded some skills like I wanted to originally great <clears throat> voice is a little gone today because of allergies. He is just healing everything. Let's get rid of him. I think he's gonna go down first before he gets healed, so we're gonna go at the meek Casa Obake here. And just take them all out there. Alright. There's the woodcuts, there's some money. And more money. Let's use a key to get through this. And then we'll go left here. They can eat. I will give him the blood once we get back to that intersection. I think will be the right move.
In Radiance, may we find victory. Wow, they want to eat again. Alright, this was the thing that upgraded the Onomori, I think. Nope, just got rid of works. Alright. The Hakutaku. Alright, so attack back. We're going to blight him. Stress and put the blight on him so that when he attacks, he puts a blight on the other unfriendly Kappa. Or, you know, he can do delicious cucumber. One down. And because I don't really want to... Excellence will only still hurt him. Two and four, so we'll take him out. Some blight on the meat. He stress. If he attacks, the meek is gonna die. Nope, delicious cucumber again. But we can do that. Nope, not enough. Okay. I still can't can't get past the fact of how much damage that lick does. The rudiment is the blood god. Alright, so... I think getting Hakutaku Wisdom on her would be a really good idea. And if I can lock that in on her, I will be super freaking happy. And then we'll take out this section now. I have to admit, I really like these two DLC, or not DLC, mod characters working together, because one adds a lot of blight, and one adds a lot of damage and, like, utility against blighted stuff. Did not think they were going to work this well together. Alright, uh, this is my other thing that the key works well on. Got another minor Omomori, and some money. Unremembered scriptures. I'm not sure what these are gonna do, so I'm gonna put them on the grave robber. Okay. That's actually really good. Um, who has a bad quirk? Fear of Yokai is really bad in here. He has nothing to get rid of, nothing to get rid of, and weak grip on life. So let's get rid of the grave robber stuff. The light right, this is a trap if I remember right. Oh, old shrine bell. 
The rudiment can ring it. Okay, what does that do? Alright, let's get rid of the drum thing. I don't like it. And then de stress. That's what I didn't want to have happen. I can get around that. Ooh. I think I can still get rid of that. And we're going to do this, get our attack back, and hopefully the maggots will attack the rudiment. Oof, that's just not good. Alright, and with him, he's just going to do this, and I don't think he gets an attack back. Okay. Kawasaki's? Oh, jeez. Well, I think we can outright take one out. I'm not trying to drag us out. I'm getting stun locked, man. Alright, let's just go for it. He's gonna die now to wounds, de stress, and take him out. I know I could have healed up just a tiny bit there, but that's fine. Really? Okay. That is awesome. Um, so with her, we're actually going to heal a little bit. I'm going to blight one of the crabs because I really don't like them. Getting our attack back. And actually with him, I want to get an attack back too. That way, anything that attacks these two is getting blighted and damaged. One down. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Probably take this one out. Another abomination cleansed from our land. Then with her we can heal him. That is just so good. And five, one, doesn't really matter, so let's take... Wow. Slowly, gently. All right. This is how a life is taken. Moving on along. A lot of empty rooms. Should I try a curio on this thing? This one's a trap now. Interesting that they look the same. Okay. Forgotten incense. Um, what happens if we burn the incense? Fifty percent stress healing received. Nice. There's a shovel use. that stack? It does. 
for two battles. Oh boy. So as much as I want to get rid of the shark there, this thing does kind of take precedence, and I do need to heal. So let's get Perilous Flesh going so we get the attack back. Okay, that thing's gone. I'm going to put Necrotic Plague on him. That didn't work so well, but we can still Blight the Crab. Tried to Blight it, not throw a dagger at it. Yeah, move back. That's what you need to do. Um, Actually, I'm going to Excellence there, so I can try to hit them both. Still going to Necrotic Plague that thing. Now let's Stagger it so it dies, leaving the Isonade. She's going to move back. Um, you know, let's just chop him to bits. Get our careless flesh back up. Oof. I would very much appreciate that uh, we can... Throwing dagger, because the blight. He can heal. So we don't really need much stress reduction, and then bang. And what is this? Yanagi Baba, an elderly woman, is embedded in the tree. Perhaps she has some information. You know, I don't trust that at all. I mean, I guess I'll take the money. Wealth beyond measure. Should probably go torchless at this point, brave but the foolhardy alike. Let's keep going. See what happens. Another journal page. Okay. Um, with him, let's get the drum. Maybe that'll help. And move forward. Throwing dagger the drum again. Hopefully it dies on its turn now. Heal up. Forward again. The death and we can get Necrotic Plague on them so we don't trigger that attack back, and still pretty much almost taking them out in one turn. Um, this will kill that one. Healing again, because we kind of need it. And... Because we can. There we go. Okay, we got one more room. Let's do it.
Okay, no shovels, so we're gonna have to dig through by hand. Not the biggest steel. And nothing here. All right, well, it was worth a shot. And that's another Sunward Isles. About 16,500 gold. Very nice. A few heirlooms. Not very many, actually, considering what I thought. I forgot to uh, use the thing to cure his disease. Oh, well. I could have gotten stressed down, too. The great horror beneath the manor. But Actually, I plan on going to take that out now, but. Destroyed. All right, so for here, let's get Haku Takus locked in. And he doesn't. They? I should probably just say they. What? This person's mind is lost. That's all it says. So I suppose let's cure Mania. And then put Rassant here in the cloister. A little bit of stress relief. And then this team here can get ready for the farmyard. Um, not really going to use this. Probably not going to use that, so we have some extra money for this. And let's do the farmyard. Little underprepared for it, but I think we can still do it. Don't think I need shovels. Anti venoms might be useful. Oh, looks like we actually need to redo the trinkets. Um, we want this on him. We want this on him. And suppose we can get plus one damage on him. He doesn't really do stun. Damage versus size two, maybe, but that would get rid of her. I suppose we can leave the stuff like that. I'm going to bring some of these for regeneration and just some basic stuff to help. Blight had struck the harvest again that year. And the miller was desperate. He came to me, hat clutched tightly in filthy fingers, stinking of sweat and manure. Seated comfortably in my observatory, surrounded by telescopes and other delicate apparatus, I recognized his misfortune as an opportunity, and I agreed to lend him my... I think the sound cut out there for just a second, but my bad. Alright, so I think I gotta do this. Celestial Cornerstone. The central fixture in a carefully constructed barrier around the farmstead. Let's touch it. Alright, so I think with her we're just going to start clearing the stress because she doesn't have much else to do right now. Uh, damaging what we can. Bone Harry, just to get the bleed going. And he can take him out. Decimated. 
and saving us a little bit of damage. Okay, round two. Oof. Definitely healing Ross. We are going to continue that here. Actually, no. You know what? Let's get rid of that Scarecrow. Eradicated. Then Ross can get rid of the Crystalline. Maybe. Healing himself that little bit. Okay, curing the blight, healing Ross. That makes him go stealth. Okay, so let's. I don't think I have anything for that, right? No, not on her at least. So taking out farmhand. Uh, still can't do that. I could chain gaining him. And then Hound's Harry to put a bleed on it. And there's another seed. I think every corpse turns into one of those, if I remember right. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Uh, just because she has nothing else to go at. Executed with impunity. That brings a horse in range to take out. Alright, let's heal Ross again. Just top him off if we can. And see what we can do damage wise. Maybe we can stun them. That would be great. Hound Harry to get them bleeding for Ross. Alright, so we're doing fine. So I'm just going to have her continue healing for now. He is going to continue to try to bleed them out. And actually, two of them are going to die right off the bat. So we're just going to bring this one a little bit further. Dies, dies. This farmhand has one health left, so we can just bop it. I guess we're going to de-stress. Stunning. Harry. She can take this one out. Nope, she can't. Um, you know what? Let's try to bring the horse forward a little bit. Nope. Okay. So in that case, two, two, two. And that's a one bleed? No. So let's just do this again. Get them all bleeding. Four and four. Really don't want her hitting either, but you know, whatever. As the enemy crumbles. We're gonna hook and slice. No. Yeah, hook and slice to bring him forward and bleed him. Horse will bleed out on its next turn, so that's fine. Didn't want him being stunned, but that is what it is. We can get the crystalline aberration with one of them. She can get rid of the bleed. Cursed champion falls. And there we go. 
and since he literally has nothing else to do. And there's our foreman. So, gonna try to drag him forward if I can. That gives us the option of doing this. I think we can then bleed them all. And then... Let's wipe him out, because he'll bleed out on his next turn, dragging them all forward again. Right. And let's try to move him forward again. If I mark him, I can probably take him out with Ross. If not, uh, her. There we go. The onslaught. Destroy them all. And then with him, do that. He bleeds out, just leaving the one. So let's de-stress, I suppose. I know I'm not using her in her actual Lamia form, but we don't really need to. Give them no quarter. Be gone, fiend. And just pass with him, I suppose. That is new. Hey, what is this thing gonna do? 200% bleed resistance, so we can't bleed it. I see, okay. Problematic. But we should probably get rid of the foreman first. Okay, getting rid of the Blight, healing Ross. We're gonna mark the Changeling so that the Seraph can take him out. And I'm hoping that this will do enough damage and bleed to take him out. What in the unholy hell? Well, Foreman dies on his next turn. Unless he heals again. I'm gonna make sure he doesn't heal again by doing that. Maintain the offensive. Now we just have the farmhand to deal with. Death by inches. And that's done. Okay. So, 3,000 gold, Comet Shards, Speed Stone, didn't use any of our consumables and got 20 kills. 12 Comet Shards, Daredevil, Unholy Slayer. My obsession caused this great foulness. And it is shameful that I must rely upon you to set it right. And 
Okay, it did pass the week. So, at least there's that. Um, although we're kind of short on gold, so I can't really do anything else with them other than go straight into another one. Which, looking at things, I'm probably going to be either going and leveling up the Cove, the Warrens, the Weald, and the, or the Sunward Isle just off the first look of things. However, that being said, I can kind of feel my voice going right now, so I think I'm going to cut this episode a little bit short. And I'll think about where to go next time and try to raise the uh, infection level while also leveling our roster here. So as always, thank you for watching. Wish you all well. I'll see you next time and have a good one.